Hello everybody, welcome to Math Edic Original channel. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. In today's lesson, we will talk about the properties of equality and how to use them to solve linear equations. We're going to talk about some of those basic properties of equality and how we can use them to solve a linear equation or any other type of equation. The first property we have on the list is the addition property of equality. The addition property of equality say if I have A equal B and I add a number on both sides of the equation, as long as those numbers are the same is the same number then it doesn't change the equation at all. For instance, if I have x equal y, let's say I go ahead and add 5 on both sides. So x plus 5 is the same thing as y plus 5. If I add the same number on both sides of the equation, then both sides are still going to be equal to each other. The subtraction property of equality. Subtraction property of equality. It states that if A equal B, then A minus C equal B minus C. It's just saying that if I subtract the same number on both sides of the equation, it doesn't change the equation at all. So if I have x equal y, by subtracting the same number on both sides of the equation, then there is no change. It's still the same. So this one, this equation is equivalent to this equation. So by subtracting the same number on both sides of the equation, it doesn't change the equation. Then we have the multiplication property of equality. The multiplication property of equality. So if A equal B, then A times C equal B times C. So all that's saying is, if I multiply the same number on both sides of the equation, it doesn't change the equation at all. If I tell you that x equal y, by multiplying 5 on both sides, 5x equal 5y. By multiplying the same number on both sides of the equation, I do not change the equation at all. Then we have the division property of equality. If A equal B, then A divided by C is equal to B divided by C. It's just saying, if I have an equation, by dividing both sides of the equation by the same number, doesn't change the equation. So X over 5 is the same thing as y over 5. And the last one is the distributive property. Now, the distributive property always involves parentheses or bracket. So, if you have a number in front of the parentheses, that means multiplication. Okay? And then you have some expression inside of the parentheses. All you have to do, you take that number that's in front of the that's in front of the parentheses, you multiply it by everything inside the parentheses. That distributive property. So you do a times b, and then whatever sign that is, whether it's plus or minus, you carry it over, and then you do a times c. Okay, a times b plus 
A times C. That is the distributive property. You take that number in front of the parentheses or bracket, you multiply it by everything inside of the parentheses. Now, if I give you x, if I give you 2 factor of x plus y, so that would equal 2x plus 2y. So I take that 2 multiplied by x and take that same 2 multiplied by y. So 2x plus 2y. Now, let's see how can we use these properties to solve linear equation. When you're solving linear equation, when you're solving linear equation, you always deal with addition and subtraction first. We always deal with addition and subtraction first. Then you deal with multiplication or division. The next thing is we use the reverse operation or the inverse operation. So the inverse operation for addition is subtraction. The inverse operation for subtraction is addition. The reverse or inverse operation for multiplication is division, and the inverse operation for division is multiplication. Okay, so let's see, for example, I got x minus 8, x minus 8 is equal 3. I'm solving for x. So the goal is to keep x by itself. We're going to keep x by itself on the left side, and we're going to put everything else to the right side. Now, to get x by itself, when I look at this, x is subtracted 8 by 8. Okay? So, to get x by itself, I need to get rid of that negative 8. Because that is the minus 8, I need to use the inverse operation, which is plus so to get rid of the 8 i have to add 8 on both sides x minus 8 plus 8 okay i keep the same number and i use the inverse operation and remember the golden rule whatever you do to one side of the equation you do it to the other side of the equation as well so the fact that I add 8 on the left side, I also have to add 8 on the right side. So, negative 8 plus 8, that would be 0. So, the goal is to cancel this 8, negative 8. So, that becomes x by itself. And then, that become 11. Now, the question is, what property did I apply on this step? When I add 8 on both sides, which one of these properties did I use to do that? We add 8. So we add the same number on both sides of the equation. So therefore, this is the addition. Okay? This is the addition property of equality. the addition property of equality. Let's do another example. X plus 14 equal negative 8. 
in this case, x is adding by uh, is plus 14. We have 14 adding to x. Okay, we have 14 adding to x. So, in order to keep x by itself, we have to get rid of that 14. And because the sign in front 14 is plus, and we know the inverse operation of plus is minus, okay? So we're gonna minus 14 in order to get rid of that 14. So we're gonna have x plus 14 minus 14. Again, the golden rule is, or the rule of thumb is, Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do it to the other side of the equation. So therefore, I have to do negative 8 minus 14. Plus 14 minus 14 is 0. So we have x plus 0. And then that should be negative 8 minus 14. So now remember, every time you combine two numbers with the same sign, remember, notice this is negative 8, this is negative 14. We're combining two numbers with the same sign. So we're going to add the two numbers, which is 8 plus 14 is 22. And since both have the same sign, we're going to keep that sign that they both have, which is negative. Okay, so now, again, what property did I use on that step? What did I do? I minus or I subtract 14 on both sides. So I subtract the same number on both sides of the equation. So therefore, that is the subtraction property because that's the one that says if I subtract the same number on both sides of the equation, it doesn't change the equation. So that's the subtraction Subtraction property. Now let's do another example. If I have X over three equal 5. Now, x over 3 is a division. So here I got x divided by 3. And remember, the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So in order to get rid of that 3, I have to multiply by 3. Because the inverse operation for division is multiplication. So I multiply this by 3. And the rule of thumb is that whatever I do to one side of the equation, I do it to the other side of the equation. So therefore, because I multiply this side by 3, I also have to multiply the other side by 3. So these three are going to cancel these three out. So I have x by itself, and 5 times 3 is 15. Again, what property we use here is the multiplication property. So if you multiply both sides of the equation by the same number, it doesn't change the equation. So that's the multiplication property. Another example. If I have two X equal eight, two X equal eight. Now we can see that two is multiply X, two is multiply X. So the inverse operation for multiplication is division. 
So since the inverse operation for multiplication is division, in order to reverse this or to get rid of the 2, I have to divide by 2. So we divide by 2 on this side. And the rule of thumb is that whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do the same thing to the other side of the equation. So since I divided by 2, then I also have to divide the other side by 2. So the 2 divided by 2 is 1 that's cancel each other. So I have x by itself. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. And again, what property did I use over here? Is the division property. So that's division property. Now, let's say we have uh, this example. We have a... Uh, Negative 2 Negative 2 Factor of 4x Minus 7 Equal 9x Plus 4 Notice that we have parentheses involved in this equation so, because we have parentheses involved, we need to take care of that first. And to take care of the parentheses, we need to apply the distributive property. Distributive property state, if we have a number in front of the parentheses, so we take that number and you multiply it to everything. Remember, that number means you multiply that A to everything inside the parentheses. So how are we gonna do this? Is by taking this number here, negative two, multiply by four, and then take that same negative two, multiply by negative seven. We multiply that number to everything inside the parentheses. So negative two times four is negative eight, okay? Remember, multiplication, negative times positive is negative. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times positive is positive. So negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then you carry the x down. And negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. Negative times negative is positive. 2 times 7 is 14. Equal 9x plus 4. Now, we need, we need to combine, we need to uh, move all the x in one side of the equation and everything else in the other side of the equation. So the way we're going to do this is by, first, let's move the 9x to the left side. So we're going to subtract negative 8x plus 14 minus 9x equal 9x plus 4 minus 9x okay now to go back just a little over here remember from this step to this step we had to use the distributive property distributive property now from here to here we have to use the fact that we subtract the same number notice that I subtract 9x on both sides of the equation so the fact that I subtract 9x on both sides of the equation we can say we use the subtraction subtraction property so we're gonna combine like term now we're gonna combine like term so we got negative 8x negative 9x so that's give you negative 17x 
and we got 14 by itself which is plus 14 over here 9 x minus 9 x is 0 so you just got 4 by itself over here now we still have to move that 14 remember we always deal with addition and subtraction first so we got plus 14 and we have negative 17 but because the 14 is addition and this negative 17 is multiplication we are dealing with addition first so we're gonna subtract 14 on this side to get rid of that plus 14 so negative 17 x plus 14 minus 14 equal whatever you do to one side you do to the other side so 4 minus 14 and that is the subtraction property again now we're going to combine like term we're going to combine like term so you got 14 minus 14 is 0 so you got negative 17 x here equal 4 minus 14 is negative 10. now we can get rid of that negative 17 by dividing both sides by negative 17. and your answer and that is the division property That is the division property. That is the division property. So this cancel, negative 17 divided by negative 17, cancel each other out. So we have x by itself. And negative 10 divided by negative 17 is just 10 over 17. Again, remember, when you're solving linear equation, you deal with parentheses first by applying the distributive property. If you have any parentheses involved, get rid of them first by applying the distributive property. And then you deal with addition and subtraction. So if there is an addition, you apply the inverse operation of addition, which is subtraction. If there was a subtraction, you apply the inverse operation of subtraction, which is addition. And by doing this, you're just using the addition property or the subtraction property of equality. Then, after you deal with subtraction or addition, you deal with division or multiplication. So, by again using the inverse operation. If you have a multiplication, to undo the multiplication, you use division. And to undo division, you use multiplication. Also, of course, by applying the multiplication and division property. So that's how we use those basic properties of equality to solve linear equation. And remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do it to the other side of the equation. Again, thank you for watching the video. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comment. Also, if there is any topic you would like for me to talk about, drop them in the comment and I will do them next time. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.